I had you there, Giles. Don't be ridiculous. The only thing you had was a bullet with your name on it. Well, it looked like I scared the living daylights out of you. Well, you didn't. Now get in and shut up. Bentley, eh? <laughs> nice car. Mm, that's nothing. Watch this. Wait for it. That's not just the clock. Not bad, eh? Right. So you got back from Russia with love? Certainly did. Right here. Ah, for your eyes only. Clear? Well, obviously. Do you really think I'd risk my life showing it to anyone else? I'd rather die another day, thank you. Well, wouldn't we all? Look, let's get this over with, shall we? Let's. Now, of course, it goes without saying that if this ever came out, well, it would be the end of the line for us. No more license to kill, that's for sure. Really? Do you think so? I think it's safe to say that if M ever found out who our target was, he'd have our thunderballs for breakfast. The spy who loved himself. Nobody does it better, they say, at Vauxhall Cross, don't they? It's an insult to the rest of us. Don't get me started. I mean, just thinking about his perfect, smug little face makes my blood boil. I mean, I've had a view to kill that bastard for quite some time now. Hence our uh, unholy alliance. Mm. What really angers me is that he thinks he's so much better than us at the job. And the fact that the mere mention of his name sends the entire female staff into a giggling, quivering mess. I always thought the diamonds are forever the way to a woman's heart, but uh, not if you're James Bond, it seems. Exactly. They just don't stop yapping on about him. I mean, what I wouldn't give for just a moment of peace, a mere quantum of solace from all the fawning and hysteria surrounding him. He gets everything any agent could possibly want, and yet he still wants more. Honestly, it's as though the world is not enough for him. So how are we going to revoke his license? Right. So many possibilities. Now, Q Branch have just had a delivery of deadly octopus. See, I did see the manifest. I thought about it. It's too obvious. It has to look like an outside job. Uh, what about uh, the man with the golden gun? What's his name? Scaremonger? Uh, Scaramanga. Mm. <laughs> he charges a million a shot. Look, I'm all for fiddling the expenses account, but even that's a bit rich for Her Majesty's Secret Service. <laughs> Best employer in the world. Duh. <clears throat> well, um, anyway, I am quite oh, handy with the old sniper rifle. They don't call me Goldeneye for nothing, you know? <laughs> Nobody calls you Goldeneye, Tarquin. They call you Coldfinger. That's what they call you. Do you know why? On account of you having all the speed and reactions of a corpse. Well, go on then. Why don't you suggest something? Look, I'm sick of the spectre of James Bond hanging over me. Let's just get on with it. Do grow up, 008. We mustn't rush it. We have all the time in the world. Do we, 006? He's a relic from the Cold War, and that's where he belongs. You only live twice in this game. Once for yourself, and once for the Queen. Uh, why do you keep scratching your moonraker? Are you all right? Just a bit of a rash I picked up in Moscow, that's all. Oh, for God's sake, hadn't you better go and see a bloody doctor? No, I'll be fine, thank you. <coughs> I'm made of sterner stuff. <coughs> well, live and let live, they say. Except in Bond's case, of course. Exactly. We'll live and let die the reputation of that show-off. I'll hit him so hard, he'll think it's the sky falling on his head. You know, on second thoughts, 
I think perhaps we will go with your sniper plan. Where and when? Excellent. Now, from the roof of the Casino Royale in Clapton, we can see straight into his penthouse. You mean you can? You and your golden eye and your trigger finger? I'll be keeping an eye on things from afar. Right. Very good. Clear line of sight into his bedroom. Mm-hmm. Might just work. Very good. The writing's on the wall for 007. Finally. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. It's settled then. Goodbye, Mr. Bond. Then I'll be the number one spy. We'll be the number one hmm? spies. We'll be the number one spies. Oh, yes. Quite right, 008. Thank you. We'll be the number one spies. Better. One down, one to go. Sorry, what was that, 006? Hmm? What? Oh, nothing. Don't concern yourself. 